after I completed the top 25 upcoming pixel art games in 2022 and beyond, I felt pretty good with myself. But a viewer did not have it and handed me a list of over 40 more games to cover. So here is... 25 pixel art games every game you should play in 2022 and beyond. The theme of the first game on the list is love and the consequences of people's choices. Right in the feels for this JRPG from Twin Otter Studios. If 2D isometric tactical RPGs are your go-to genre of games, Arcadian Atlas with its deep tactical battles across vast and treacherous landscapes will not let you down. With the promise of a rich character-driven story and 12 powerful classes to build your army, no matter if you prefer a mad scientist or an inquisitor that turn enemies and dead, prepare for monsters, ruthless men, a daughter scorn, and a queen so cruel she kill her own husband to gain the throne. Hello, Game of Thrones. Staying in the lovely 80s themes, next up is an isometric story-driven action RPG with interconnected maps and open-ended quest system. Take that! Ha! Kingdom of Night from developer Black7 Studio pitch you as John against a demonic invasion or because a satanic cult unwittingly summons the ancient evil Baphomet. Don't join the cult, kids. I think they even got either Sul or Vince Clortho, if you remember the terror dogs from Ghostbusters to make an appearance. But with three different classes and nine subclasses plus local co-op, you can finally get your revenge on demons, high school bullies and become a torrent of annihilation. Me? I got hooked when they referenced cosmic horror and true love. It seems like the love for 8-bit visuals in the style of Game Boy Color is strong, because looking at Mina the Hollower's success on Kickstarter, it's whipping impressive. Can you guess who the developer is behind this game? No? It's Yacht Club Games. Perhaps you recognize them for making this amazing game? That makes me so excited. Okay. Calm down, Dan. Give the people more information. All right. Inspired by gothic horror, expect a bizarre world full of monsters and mystery. And in classic handheld fashion, we get directional controls and A and B button that is for whip and burrow your way through the game. Let's just say, paired with the expanded NES music, it's bound to be a classic. You might right about now started to wonder, where are all the point and click adventure games? Not to worry, pixel art lovers, behold perfect tides. It comes with a 19th style user interface with inventory, interact with people and set on an island. Not that island. Developer 3Bs promise 45 plus beautiful design rooms, day and night, all during four seasons of the year. So if you want to relive the agony and anticipation of being a teen again, head on over to Steam right now. I don't know if I would like to be a teenager again, but please buy the game. Do you ever feel that just one game is not enough when you buy it, or perhaps your Steam library is looking a bit thin on games you have not completed? Developer Mossmouth UFO 50 is a collection of 50, yes you heard that right, 50 single player and multiplayer games all packed into one. After creating Spelunky, Downwell or Time Baron, they are now aiming for all the genres. Expect all the 50 games to be playable from start and they range from platformers and shoot them up to puzzle games and RPGs. It's time to throw in some advanced platformer AI into the world of 2D sprites and 3D models in Moons of Dar Salon from Dr. Kucho. With some really interesting physics, this action save all platformer will have you perform rescue missions and leading the Darsonauts to safety. No, it's not astronauts, people. By the looks of it, it will be a fun and lemmings-like experience, all backed up with 8-bit music based on the Sid ship from 1982. I call that a win-win situation. So arm yourself with a laser gun and prepare to drive jetpacks, trucks and spaceships, all while enjoying the game's humoristic comic bubbles. Let's jump on the happy topic of a world that is coming to an end. Pretty fitting considering all things happening in the world in the looter from Tactical Dogs. Hear the good old saying, always bring a gun to a mutant fight, or however it's said ring true since the game focuses on firearms to dispatch enemies, aiming at all the full 360 degree. I wonder if it's a no scope option. 
Expect mutants, beasts and looting as you make your way to a monastery in search of a cure for terminal in illness in the land of Tortura. Coincidence or not, Tortura in Spanish means torture. And add some crafting and recipes to further enhance your arsenal, but I for one think the evil that lurks in the forest will be your greatest challenge. Have fun in the forest, kids! If you're looking for a good retro action platformer that can quince your thirst for that feeling of old school gaming, I can highly recommend Everblade from developer Elion Games. The game is not revolutionary or groundbreaking, but hear me out, instead it's a game for us that love hardcore jumping and tons of monsters to fight. All the regular elements of platforming like wall climbing and death by the environment might get you excited to try it also. But then, what about the boss fights? Don't you worry, there are dozens of distinct boss fights that will make you fight for your tiny pixelbait life and make your platforming loving heart rejoice. It's time to be dazzled by a beautiful pixelated world and all the side scrolling you can ever wish for. Akatori from Hype Train Digital wants you to see the same beauty and tight combat that is promised and by so perhaps give out a coin or two to the Kickstarter campaign. The core of the game is its combat system with various combos. How about tossing up your enemy into the air and to continue the fight me there? Feels too easy? Then prepare for furious boss fights while fighting like an assassin. I say yes please let me have some to all of that. If there is something I like in games, that is the ability to dash through enemies. When you also can unleash insane combos and even toss in some dark powers, I'm ready to join the dark side. No, <laughs> not that one, I mean the stalkers. Hunt the Night from developer Moonlight Games is a fast-paced retro-style action-adventure with all of that and more. Fight ancient horrors of the night and look for their weak points and attack patterns. And expect the good old combat phases that will trick you over and over that you have won the battle. Another great thing is the ability to create your own build for your own playstyle. Me, I will try to go for live stream and firepower since I'm not the most agile player. Do you remember the old show Robo Wars? This game feels like a mix of that with a sprinkle of crazy AI and roguelike. Metal Mind from developer Wurlaxi Studio is all about building the ultimate war machine. Why else would you be able to mount a 130mm naval artillery? No need for armor here if you ask me. The combat looks unforgiving and also that is at the same time insanely fun, so if you just keep track of your build you should be safe, I think. With a promise to improve the controls for all of you that prefers to play these type of games on a controller, I see a bright future war experience on the horizon for all of us. The game feels like Elon Musk with SpaceX created a game to find the best colonizers for the upcoming Mars mission. Farlanders from developer Andre B is a turn-based strategy game going all in on making you the best colony architect. Turn the red planet green, perhaps on a more grander scale that Mark Watney did. Yeah, I know what he used for fertilizers. Prepare for the dynamic weather with brutal storms, research your heart out, trading, and of course the challenges with ancient Martian artifacts. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Wrong franchise. Nice try, Xenomorph. The next one is a bit hard to me to find a lot of information about, but just seeing the trailer, I just knew I have to play it. Do you all also get that feeling sometimes? For me, it all feels like a darker FPS version of Dino Crisis. That game was amazing, by the way. We are going to get an action survival horror game where you have to have fast reflexes, all painted with an art style designed for every retro graphic lovers, like yours truly. I look forward to learning more about this game as the developers share more information at the Steam page. So get on over there and wishlist and perhaps say hi. Another one with an insane high rating for a point and click narrative adventure game is Norco from Geography of Robots. Embark on a journey to find your missing brother and land in a multi-generational, today's hardest word by the way, mystery while diving head first into the this unique and compelling narrative. Some scenes remind me of It Came From The Desert, that makes me miss my old Amiga by the way. If you're going to get one point and click adventure game this year, I highly suggest this is the one. I can promise you a game in the League of Game of the Year. 
I don't know if Acid Knife is heavy leaning on the acid in the name as a wicked acid trip or the developer is currently on one, but I know I am drawn to this game for some odd reason. Perhaps it's the promise of battling death centipedes, it's better than human centipedes for sure, in a melting psychedelic void or the curiosity of a slow but more intentional side-scrolling combat. This is all thrown into the abyss and then reborn with the graphics you are seeing as a testament of depth in the developer Power Hoof's vision of the game. Customize the perfect set of moves for any given encounter can be both rewarding and punished in the most brutal way. Grab your joystick and prepare yourself for great homage to the run and gun genre of the past when Arrow Meat from Ras is our next game. I get heavy Turrican 3 vibes from this game and for me that is all I need. With both a retro inspired and a heavy metal soundtrack, it's like the best of two worlds. And you can share the fun with a friend, if you have one, in local co-op, just like in the good old days. Expect 7 levels of raw brutal carnage and certified bad assery. If you feel the game is too easy, there are 3 difficult settings and a variety of accessibility options. In the 2 for 1 section on this list you will find the drift from developer Powerhoof, you know, the one that also was doing Acid Knife. Gone is the trippy graphic and instead this side project started in 2017 and is now a full production since 2019. Inspiration is said to come from King and Carpenter and comes fully voiced. It describes as a pulp adventure thriller and even though all we have is this release trailer, the story revolves around a web of shadowy corporation, murder and a thousand year old obsession of a madman. If you mix Castlevania Symphony on the Night, Zelda, Xenogears and Final Fantasy Tactics, what do you get? If you ask Alonso Martin, you get Hartford Alicia, a Metrovania RPG about a young wizard pursued by terror in the sky. And as in the horror movies, don't look up. And by the looks of it, Kickstarter the campaign back in 2014, people really, really, and I mean really wanted this game. And after seeing the trailer and reading about it, I can really say I have to agree. This game is a game you need to get if you love classic RPGs. Otherwise, I have to call you a poser and you don't want that, right? Two Southern people can't be wrong, right? Since there is no light from developer Sellout received that much support over at Kickstarter, what caught my eye is the fast-paced combat set in a dark and twisted pixel art world, all resting on the beliefs of following a new god. Been a while since we human found a new god, right? Expect over 70 types of enemies and bosses, so I hope you are ready to slaughter hundreds upon hundreds of monsters. If you feel it's your calling, you have before you a 30-hour deep and touching adventure about a family, not that family, war and redemption. I get it, people see the game and that reminds them of Castlevania and they hit the support button faster than the speed of Simon Belmont's whip. And I can't blame them when it comes to seeing the Metrovania called The Last Faith from developer Kumi Souls Games. It has all the platforming, environmental challenges, enemies and bosses you can ever wish for, all set in a beautiful but as expected fitting pixel art dark and gothic world. At the end of the day, don't we all just want to experience hourless of merciless and precise combat all with the arsenal of weapons. I know I do. I don't think these heroes need an extra introduction, so instead let's rejoice in going back to the 80s. Dot Yemo, known for Street of Rage 4 and developer tribute games, want you to enjoy this new take on this classic with up to six, that right, six players simultaneously. If that does not hype you up, how about playing the iconic character Master Splinter and April O'Neil? Still not convinced? Okay, last attempt to impress you. Not only the game include a banging soundtrack from T. Lopez, the four turtles rock the same original voice actors from the 1987 cartoon. I told you it was insane. A description I for one has not seen before is the roguelike side-scrolling dogfight game called Windrunners from Ludic Studios. The game has some similarities with hyperspace dogfights, but Windrunners is just eons ahead in its art style. Choose between available ships all with unique weapons and then evolve its power and take on the torments, a fancy world for giant metal beasts. There is said to be 13 bosses and 7 playable characters and if you want some developer trivia, Windrunners was paused when the developer created Kate Collateral Damage together with Netflix. 
Fans of the Momodoria series can rejoice when another installment of the series is being planned and this one is called Momodoria Moonlight Farewell. If you are new to the series, it's the first game in the series came back out in 2010 and have since then gathered a loyal following. Developer Bomb Service aims to close the books on the series while also letting newcomers to the game series play this one without prior knowledge. Expect gorgeous pixel art and animations all packed together with core shaking boss battles set in a world filled with lore and atmosphere. You might recognize this game if you ever set your foot in an arcade, but this time around it's a twist. Metal Slug Tactics, that's right, out with the fast paced arcade combat and in with the RPG with a roguelite element all created by Likir Studio. Reunite the old gang and bask in the visuals true to the series all while blasting the energized music true to the original. My favorite of all this has to be to once again meet the iconic bosses and once again win or lose against them. Probably lose, but hey, who's counting, right? Stop counting. Stop counting. There is a reason I saved this one for last. Just look at this beauty of a game. This two and a half D science fiction narrative game called The Last Night from developer Odd Game has me excited for sure. The visuals are stunning and we are thrown into the life of Charlie in this post cyberpunk world where the combination of hand drawn art and state of the art composition techniques are beautiful presented. I get a hint of another world when seeing this game and I look forward to experience the stealth and gunplay to experience the narratives where NPCs actually remember previous dialogues. So you better watch out who you are pointing a gun to or bad mouthing. I mean, it all sounds amazing. I'm Dan and it's been a joy showing you all this game. If you want to find even more amazing videos, just stick around and I have another video for you coming up right away.